1997, James Cameron, known for the Terminator, Aliens, and the Avatar movies, released the three hour and 15 minute long epic known as Titanic, starring Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet, Billy Zane, Bill Paxton, and Gloria Stewart. This movie went on to become the highest grossing movie of 1998 and remained there until James Cameron's own 2009 Avatar movie eventually took that spot. The film has also been re-released multiple times since its original premiere over 25 years ago. 2012 in 3D to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the actual sinking of the RMS Titanic. Then again in December 2017 for the film's 20th anniversary in Dolby Vision. And again in February 2023 for the 25th anniversary of the film in 3D and 4K with high dynamic range. Ever since the film's original release, multiple home media releases have been made. So with everything that's come out for the 1997 Titanic movie, I've been able to get my hands on a few pieces of media that pertain to this movie. So now I will be introducing you to my Titanic collection. So with all the other crap that I have in my room, it's really hard to keep a track on uh, how to organize things sometimes. So for the uh, Titanic stuff, I put it in this Doc Morton's box to keep it safe. So here we go. Ta -da. See if I could get it on camera. Ta -da. There we go. Now I will be going through each of these items. And so now I'm gonna be going through each of these items and giving some additional info about it. All right, let's get into it. First pieces in this collection, the original VHS releases for Titanic. Both of these releases came out in 1998, and these came out after that small window of time where the movie goes from the theaters to home media. But funny enough, the movie was actually still playing in theaters when both of these were released. I'll start with this one. This is the full screen version of the movie, which was meant for full screen televisions at the time. So the image was cropped so it could fill up the entire TV screen. And this one has blue packaging on it, to distinguish it from the widescreen release. This one actually came from my grandma's house and I picked it up from her house around 2013. Funny enough, this is the first way that I actually watched Titanic 10 years ago. And I don't think I've watched this specific tape in a while, but just the memories of this just are so nostalgic. This has become my best comfort movie of all time. Now transitioning to the other one, this is the widescreen release that came out in 98. The difference with this one is everything has a uh, sort of a bronze metallic look to it for the widescreen release. So this looks like how it did originally in theaters with the uh, black bars on the top and bottom for a full screen TV. Uh, that's pretty much the only distinguishing factor from this. This one I got at a garage sale around, I would say maybe 2021. I did not previously own this. This came later into my collection I had a few of the DVD releases, which I'll get to in a second, before this one. This one is fairly recent as far as new pieces to this collection go. It's hard going back and forth uh, between setups, so camera angles are going to change quite a bit. The next part of my collection is... Actually, I'll start with this one. So this is the original DVD release for Titanic. This one came out in 1999, and this is the uh, widescreen version of the DVD. This one contains... Uh, the movie on a single disc, and this was before special features became standard on most DVDs. It only contained the original theatrical movie and theatrical trailer, too. The cool thing about this one, this release contains a uh, scene selection menu, like an actual physical menu that you can look at. It gives you details on, on each of the scenes for the film. Didn't even know that it went that wide. All the scenes there, theater information. Stuff that you see on the posters normally. 11 categories, impressive. The back of this contains scene selection for the second half of the movie. Fold it back to what it originally looked like. And then it also contained a pamphlet of other Paramount Pictures releases from 1999. And it includes mail-in DVD offer on the back of this. Buy five, get one free sweepstakes. The sweepstakes ended on June 30th of 2000, so I'm about 22 years too late with this, but oh well. Yeah, this one pretty much is just saying like, hey, here's our other releases. So it's got Clear and Present Danger, Days of Thunder, Deep Impact, Face Off, The Loki. I don't even know what that is. Ferris Bueller, coming fall 99. Wow, can't wait for that one. Whole bunch of other releases. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Mission Impossible. I know that. Three plus two equals six. That doesn't make any sense. That isn't math. Another coupon thing in the front. Oh no, it's just saying how the uh, mail-in offer works for this. 
You never know how old you feel until you look at something from your birth year and you're like, wow, that was a long time ago. Well, I was born in 2001, but 2000 feels close enough. All right, now we've made it to the turn of the millennium. So this one is the special collector's edition of Titanic, James Cameron. This one is a three disc set that was released in 2005. This wasn't made for any uh, anniversary release or anything. This contains special features that weren't included in prior releases. It's got disc one, which contains the first half of the movie, and then disc two, which contains the second half of the movie. In the VHS releases, they also did that because the film couldn't fit on a whole tape for that period of time, so they had to split up the movie. It's got commentary, disc two, has an alternate ending, it has a music video for My Heart Will Go On, a bunch of behind the scenes things, and then disc three includes a whole bunch of other deleted scenes, documentaries, random features, a newsreel from the actual syncing, uh, video matics, visual vex breakdowns, still galleries, and so much more. I find it hard to think that this movie was released in 1997, and the amount of visual effects, they were so ahead of their time, they still hold up today. Leonardo DiCaprio, Kate Winslet, both in their costumes, looking pretty spiffy. Reminds me of the little pictures that they have on the VHS release. Pull the one side out and we got special features menu, movie on disc one, Kate Winslet's face, and then a whole bunch of other pictures in the background. Pull the other one out, more movie stills. Uh, disc two, second half of the movie, disc three with more special features and production stills on the back of that. And on the front of this, Titanic Special Collector's Edition. Oh look, that's me, hello. When I put it back in here, the way that I had it positioned was you wouldn't notice the uh, folds that are on this side. Put it in nice and snug, Titanic, Titanic. All right, now we're starting to get a little bit more recent. Now we've got a uh, Titanic 10th Anniversary Edition. This was released in 2007 and pretty much almost exactly the same as the 2005 release, although they don't have a third disc with it. This doesn't contain disc three. Photoshop still on here, 10th anniversary byline, and it just contains two of the movie discs. But this time it's got the uh, gray and white background, gray and white, <laughs> that most Paramount releases have. That's about it from this one. All right, on to the 2010s. As far as movie releases go, now we have the 2012 Blu-ray release for Titanic. As I said, it came out in 2012, and this one is digitally remastered. This one also has a digital copy included that you can uh, that you can download onto iTunes or your Windows computer. Everything's about streaming now, so I totally forgot about digital copies. So just like with the Titanic Special Collector's Edition from 2005. This contains all of the special features, but the difference between uh, the DVD releases and the Blu-ray, they were able to fit the movie. They were able to fit the movie entirely on one disc since it was able to hold more storage. And the special features are on their own dedicated Blu-ray. It says not rated. Meanwhile, it says PG-13. Where is it? I can't even read it on here. PG-13 rating, and then the uh, 14A Canadian rating. For the DVD, you got part one and then part two of the movie. This is for the uh, digital copy of Titanic, and this expired September 10th of 2013, so can't use this code anymore. Sorry. I think this was the way that I was able to get Titanic on my iTunes account. I vividly remember purchasing this. I don't even remember where I was. I think, it, I think it was at a mall DVD store that eventually closed down. Oh, I didn't even notice this. So first time ever on Blu-ray, digitally remastered. Uh, four disc Blu-ray DVD combo pack. This is the one that I have. This one I don't have. Four disc Blu-ray 3D and Blu-ray combo pack. And this one I don't have in my collection because this was a much more recent release and I don't know if it's still listed uh, for sale at any major retailers. I usually like to get these from thrift stores or consignment shops because they're significantly cheaper. This is the most 2012 thing that you could ever purchase and I'm happy that I have it. A little bit extra. So this is the Titanic movie soundtrack which was released in 1998 I think in tandem with the first VHS release and this one contains um, songs from the movie. Never an Absolution, Distant Memory, Southampton, Rose, Leaving Court, Take Her to See Mr. Murdoch, Heart to Starboard, Unable to Stay, Unwilling to Leave, The Sinking, and then side two of the cassette, Death of Titanic, A Promise Kept, A Life So Changed, An Ocean of Memories, My Heart Will Go On. 
love theme from Titanic, performed by Celine Dion in Hymn to the Sea, album produced by James Horner. Rest in peace. More production skills. So you got pictures of Leonardo DiCaprio and, whoa. Oh my goodness, I did not know that there was, whoa. I'm just as surprised as you are. In addition to the, uh, the movie poster, you got this whole piece of artwork with stills from the movie. Very fancy. What's on this opposite side? It's got another picture of the Titanic, the track listing, additional information about the soundtrack, information about the movie, and the lyrics from My Heart Will Go On and Leonardo DiCaprio. A lot of interesting folding techniques to fit in such a small form factor. Yeah, before I forget, this was released through Sony Records. Both sides of the tape contain a uh, black border so you don't see the uh, actual tape inside of it. That's that one. So, onto the CD release. And with it being in a CD case, they have a little bit more creative freedom to see what kind of artwork works for the CD case. I had to film that three times because I had no idea what I was saying. Here's the CD, and it's got the Titanic in the background and the movie logo. And let's take the disc out and see what's behind it. Lyrics for My Heart Will Go On, Jack Sinking and Rose on the Door. Nothing says a love story like doors. And here we got the uh, we got the little CD booklet that you can hopefully slide out. Movie poster on the front, Titanic sinking on the back. Pretty much got the same type of artwork that was in the uh, on the cassette release. Picture of the Titanic. Leo. That's it as far as physical media releases go. I've got one more thing to show you. All right, I remember a bit of information that I previously forgot about. So October 2020 is when I purchased most of the items that I have here. That included the CD, the 10th anniversary DVD, the uh, original DVD release. I think the thing that I'm most proud of in this collection, this flyer that was from Japan when the movie originally released. This was shipped from Osaka and I don't want to get the guy's information out because I don't think he'd like that. But yes, from Japan. I paid international shipping for this. 